Thanks to Eufy for sponsoring this video. So I've tested a lot of robot vacuums and this new one from Eufy might just have the best value yet in the X8 Pro, which for less than $650 gives you LiDAR navigation, a base station that can automatically empty the dustbin for up to 60 days, and a mop pad while having twin turbine suction power for 1.8 times better cleaning, and an all new auto detangling roller brush for pet hair, which I'm actually pretty excited about testing. We've got synthetic fur and everything, also a number of other challenges lined up. But first, let's take a look at what comes inside the box, where you get a waterproof mat for the base station, the robot itself, the included mop pad, a cleaning tool just in case you ever need it, and of course the base station. So at the top of the robot is where the LiDAR sensor sits. You have additional sensors in the front. There are two intakes on the sides, which Eufy says allows for 80% better airflow, a water reservoir in the back, the dustbin under the hood, and then at the bottom is where you attach the mop pad and have a combination of this roller brush and a spinning brush. Now the roller brush though is what really makes the X8 Pro interesting. It's got a V shape and bristles to pick up any debris and hair, but what sets it apart is this built-in comb that springs out after a cleaning, at which point the roller brush actually spins backward into the comb and automatically detangles any hair from the bristles. While this was designed with pet hair in mind, Yuffie says it also detangles human hair. With the idea being that you don't have to sit there and manually do it with that cleaning tool, which I've had to do on other robot vacuums, and it's not fun. It kind of takes away from the whole idea of having a hands-free cleaning solution. Which, speaking of, is made possible with the base station. Despite the base station itself being relatively compact, it actually fits a decently sized 2.5 liter bag in it, allowing for up to 60 days of hands-free cleaning. Now, if you have a pet, it does drop down to 45 days, which is still really good. And then that number drops to 30 days if you have two pets, with the logic being that if you have more pets, well, more hair is gonna get sucked up into the bag. Now, setting the robot up is fairly straightforward. You just download the Eufy app and then have the robot go out and map your environment. The app has all the features you'd expect, like zone cleaning, no-go zones, and scheduling, with it also having the option to run the detangling action as many times as you want. Along with Yuffie's Boost IQ setting, where the robot will automatically boost suction power depending on the floor type. But it's time to test this thing. And in this first test, we just spread some cereal on the floor and then stomped on it a few times. This test does a good job at simulating a common mess that you'd get in your kitchen, where the X8 Pro handled it without any issues. It was able to sweep everything up, even the debris that was initially flung around, and you could hear all the crunching of cereal as it was vacuuming. But it did well, and after it was done, it just went back to its base station and fully emptied its dustbin. But that was a fairly easy test, and it was also easy to see the results. But in this next one, we're gonna put that twin 4,000 pascals of suction power to the test, where we've got some good old fashioned dirt, weighed out exactly 10 grams of it, and then weighed the dustbin from the robot before running the test, so we can measure it after the test to see how much dirt it actually sucked up. Now, spreading this much dirt out on our perfectly clean rug was pretty painful to do, and honestly, I was having doubts, but after the first pass, I immediately started to feel better. You could just see the robot sucking up all that dirt, and by the second pass, the carpet looked as good as new. But looks could be deceiving, so we took out the dustbin and actually weighed it, and bam, 10 grams on the dot, which makes me feel pretty good about this thing. All right, it's time for the moment of truth, the fur test, where we got this synthetic fur, which has been going all over the studio, just like normal pet hair, and then proceeded to spread it across our rug. Now, I don't have any doubts as to whether or not the robot can pick the fur up. I think it can, and Yuffie says it could pick up up to 97% of it, but the detangling part is where I have some questions. Now, Yuffie says it could detangle up to 99.7% of pet hair, while other robots can only do around 10%, but I don't know, I just feel like when it's done vacuuming and we take a look at those bristles, there's gonna be fur all over it. So after it's done with the cleaning job, the robot automatically runs its detangling sequence, where the roller brush then rolls backward into the comb, and wow, I don't think there's a single piece of fur on the roller brush. 
That is impressive. Okay, the next test is the mop test, where we're making this water concoction with different shades of food coloring, where the net result is some really disgusting looking water. For this one, we're gonna be spreading drops of that solution all over the test area, and then we'll let it dry overnight, where the next morning, bam, we have a bunch of dirty water stains. Now, the robot drips water to the mop pad from the reservoir as it goes along, but we also pre-rinse the mop pad and Okay, these water stains were clearly not a challenge for the XA Pro. It just cleaned them right off on the very first pass. So probably not the most challenging situation, I guess, but also a very common one that people have at home. Final test though is navigation, where the first thing we did was put the robot on a table, then see if it goes over the edge. It did kind of scare me a few times, but despite putting it in an unrealistically challenging situation, it did really well. So you don't have to worry about this thing flying off the stairs or anything. In fact, it didn't really have any issues navigating our studio in general. We usually have tripods and stands everywhere and we even threw some cones in there just to throw it off. And the XA Pro either avoided them completely or it gently tapped on them with its bump sensors before moving on. I wish some people could drive this well, but Overall, it's an impressive little robot, especially at this price point, where you're getting a lot of the features that you normally have to pay more for, while also getting some features that don't exist on other robots, like its active hair detangling. But at least for now, we're done torturing this thing. I'll be dropping all the links and info you need down below in the description, including any discounts. But anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Yuffie for sponsoring it. And as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.